survivor, the son of Ray Carruth and Sharika Adams, Chancellor Lee, embodies that word. Nearly 19 years ago, his fight to live was just beginning. He beat the odds, and those who witnessed it all still call it a miracle. She had actually had four bullets in her. She was shot at five times. A desperate 911 call in the middle of chaos captures how Sharika Adams saved her son. To me, she gave her life to save her baby. And that, that's just the best that any mother could do. Sharika's own mother, Sandra Adams, still marvels at the sacrifices made in those critical moments. Chancellor Lee Adams was delivered by emergency C-section just in time. He was very dependent on her for his son, for maintaining his oxygen levels and um, because babies get that from the placenta. His mother had lost a lot of blood, depriving him of oxygen. Soon after he was born, Dr. Dosha Hickey took over his care. At the beginning, he was not able to breathe on his own. He needed help. He had a seizure early on, but he only had one. She says within weeks, Chancellor Lee proved he was going to survive the violence that brought him into this world much too soon. We knew he was a fighter, and you saw it because he came off the respirator. He, he cried, he took a bottle. He was a feisty little thing and would cry and, and you look at him and you sort of, he, had, he was a sweet little boy. I mean, that was the best way to describe him. He was sweet, he was a, he was a good baby. Dr. Hickey was also there when Chancellor Lee was taken to the ICU to be with his mother. It would be the first and last time. We had gotten word that Sharika was not gonna make it and the family requested that he be taken up to be with her. I will never forget that. No, I'll never forget that moment. And put a blanket and laid him down on, on her chest and let him be with her for a while. He was quiet and just sort of laid there and didn't cry, didn't do anything. She says his eyes were wide open and he was peaceful. Sharika was unconscious. She died later that day. We just haven't lost. And everything that was meant for evil, God has turned it around and made it for good. Sandra Adams was determined that not only would Chancellor Lee be alive, he would thrive. It's been her mission for nearly 19 years now. We would go to the neurologist and she would tell me how he's not going to be able to hold a bottle and he's not going to be able to eat and drink and, you know, I can pretty much expect a life pretty much in a vegetative state and, and I just rebuked that under my breath all, every time they told me that. Oh, I just knew God had better. He, he didn't let Chancellor survive just to be in a vegetative state. It's a miracle that Dr. Hickey says she is honored to have witnessed. A mother fighting for her son to live, then a grandmother fighting for her grandson to live up to his potential. He's done amazingly well. I know he has cerebral palsy, but he is a happy young man. What kind of ministry are you in? Oh, wow. The smile ministry? Yeah. So I'm very, very proud of him. I'm even more proud of her because there's no other way to describe it. She's a wonderful lady. She's a saint. With the love of his grandmother and many strangers, Chancellor Lee has thrived. I have much more of his story for you still ahead. His life today and the people guiding him into life as an adult. <laughs>